Here's the thing. Your diesel's exhaust smoke is like a diagnostic code written in the air. Each color tells you exactly what's going wrong inside your engine, and ignoring it can turn a simple fix into a catastrophic failure. Today I'm breaking down what every color of diesel exhaust smoke actually means, from harmless startups to warnings that you need to pull over immediately. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what your engine is trying to tell you. Make sure to watch till the end, because one color of smoke means your engine is literally destroying itself right now, and most drivers think it's completely normal. Let's start with the smoke that makes most diesel owners panic, even though it's usually the least serious. White smoke. When you see white or light gray smoke, especially during cold starts, your first instinct might be to worry. But here's what you need to understand. Not all white smoke is bad. Normal white smoke occurs during cold starts when water vapor in the exhaust condenses in cold air. This is completely harmless and should disappear within a minute or two as the engine warms up. If you live in a cold climate, you've probably seen this every morning during winter. But there's another type of white smoke that's a serious problem. Thick, continuous white smoke that persists after the engine is warm indicates unburned fuel is passing through the engine without combusting properly. This happens for several reasons. Faulty injectors that are stuck open or leaking dump raw fuel into the cylinders. Low compression from worn piston rings or valves means the engine can't generate enough heat and pressure to ignite the fuel properly. Incorrect injection timing causes fuel to enter the cylinders at the wrong moment when conditions aren't right for combustion. In cold weather, thick white smoke can also indicate geld diesel fuel that's too thick to atomize and burn properly. Another common cause would be coolant leak. If you're getting constant thick white smoke and your coolant level is dropping, might be a head gasket going out. The key difference, light white smoke that disappears when warm is normal. Heavy white smoke that continues is a problem requiring immediate attention. Blue or blue-gray smoke. If your diesel is blowing blue smoke, you're burning engine oil, and that's never good news. Blue smoke has a distinct appearance and usually comes with a characteristic burning oil smell that's hard to miss. Here's what causes blue smoke. Worn piston rings allow oil to slip past into the combustion chamber where it burns along with the fuel. Worn valve seals let oil seep down the valve stems into the cylinders. Overfilled engine oil creates excessive crankcase pressure that forces oil past seals and into the combustion area. A faulty turbocharger with worn seals allows oil from the turbo's bearing housing to be sucked into the intake and burned. Blue smoke often appears most noticeably during deceleration or when you first start the engine after it's been sitting. This is because oil has time to pool in the cylinders when the engine is off, and it all burns when you start up. The turbocharger is a common culprit in modern diesels. Turbo seals wear over time, and when they fail, oil gets pulled through the compressor housing into your intake system. You might notice oil residue in your intercooler pipes or intake manifold if this is happening. Blue smoke isn't just about oil consumption and the expense of constantly topping up. That burning oil is coating your intake valves, clogging your DPF, fouling your EGR system, and generally contaminating everything in your engine. Left unchecked, it leads to more expensive problems down the road. Black smoke. This is probably the most common and most misunderstood diesel smoke. Many diesel owners think black smoke is normal or even desirable, showing their truck has power. The reality is very different. Black smoke means your engine is running rich, burning too much fuel for the amount of air available. You're literally watching unburned fuel particles exit your exhaust pipe. That's not power, that's waste and damage. Here's what causes black smoke. Clogged air filters restrict airflow, creating a fuel-rich mixture. Faulty or dirty injectors spray too much fuel or create poor atomization patterns. Turbocharger problems like boost leaks or a failing turbo mean insufficient air is reaching the cylinders. EGR valve issues can disrupt the air fuel balance. Incorrect injection timing or fuel pump problems deliver too much fuel at the wrong time. Modern diesels with properly functioning systems should produce almost no visible black smoke under normal operation. If you're seeing black smoke, something is wrong. The smoke typically appears most heavily during acceleration or under load when the engine demands more fuel. If your injectors can't atomize it properly or your turbo can't supply enough air, out comes the black cloud. Here's what that black smoke is really costing you. Reduced fuel economy because you're burning fuel without getting power from it. Carbon buildup throughout your intake system and combustion chambers. 
clogged DPF that requires expensive cleaning or replacement, failed emissions tests in areas that require them, potential engine damage from running too rich for extended periods. Some older mechanical diesels did smoke more, but if you're driving a common rail diesel from the last 15 years and it's blowing black smoke regularly, you have a problem that needs diagnosis and repair. Gray smoke. Gray smoke sits between white and black, and it often indicates a combination of issues affecting your diesel's combustion process. Gray smoke typically means you have an imbalance in your air fuel mixture, but it's not as severe as the heavy black smoke from serious overfueling. It often appears during cold operation or light acceleration. Common causes include partially clogged injectors that aren't atomizing fuel properly, restricted air intake that's not quite blocked enough to cause heavy black smoke, marginal turbocharger performance where boost is lower than it should be, or timing issues that are throwing off the combustion process. Gray smoke is often an early warning sign. It's your engine telling you that something is starting to go wrong but hasn't completely failed yet. This is actually good news because catching problems at the gray smoke stage is much cheaper than waiting for heavy black or white smoke. Pay attention if gray smoke appears consistently during certain conditions like cold starts, light acceleration, or specific RPM ranges. This pattern can help mechanics diagnose the root cause more quickly. Excessive smoke on startup then clear. Many diesel owners notice their engine blows a puff of smoke on startup then runs clean. This is incredibly common and usually indicates specific issues. If you see black smoke on startup that clears quickly, you likely have injector leak back. When the engine sits, fuel pressure bleeds down through worn injector seals. When you start up, the engine gets a slug of unmetered fuel before normal operation begins. White smoke on cold starts that disappears when warm usually indicates glow plug problems. The glow plugs aren't heating the cylinders enough for immediate combustion. So you get unburned fuel until the engine warms up from friction and compression. Blue smoke on startup suggests valve seals are worn. Oil seeps past the seals when the engine sits, pools in the cylinders, and burns off when you start up. These startup smoke issues are often early warning signs of components that will eventually need replacement. They're telling you to start budgeting for repairs before they become emergencies. Diesel vehicles are reliable durable and powerful. With the right preventative maintenance, they can outlast a lot of newer cars on the road today. The key is acting when your diesel cries for help. So there you have it. The different types of diesel exhaust smoke and what they really mean. If you found this video informative, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more helpful diesel content. And if you made it this far, I really appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Until next time.